Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna review the new Shea Moisture Low Porosity line. Now within this Low Porosity line, they have the Low Porosity Protein Free Shampoo, they have the matching conditioner, and they have a leave-in detangler. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate how I apply these products, what I think of them, how they smell, how much they cost, everything you need to know about the Low Porosity line. Now if you don't know what Low Porosity is, you didn't watch my last video, did ya? In my previous video, I explained exactly what low and high porosity is and why it's important for you to know the type of porosity that your hair is so that you can find the exact product that will work for you. Now, after doing all the porosity tests in my last video, I learned that I have low porosity hair and that is the line that I'm going to be reviewing for you today. So let's start off by reviewing the low porosity shampoo. Now this says it has baobab, how do you say this word? Baobub and tea tree oils. Low porosity, protein free shampoo. It has a spearmint extract and clary sage. So let's do a little smell test, why don't we? And hmm. it smells like the tea tree oil. You definitely get like the foresty, woodsy smell to it. I think it's really refreshing. What I think I did notice about when I actually used the shampoo, which I will show you here is that it did have like this tingly sensation on my scalp that I really liked. I felt like it was actually cleaning my scalp and that could have been the tea tree or maybe it was the baobab, but I don't know what that is, so I don't know what it does. Now as you can see here, it does suds up like a normal shampoo, but luckily of course it is sulfate free. Now according to the label, the baobab oil is rich in vitamins and has antioxidants. The tea tree oil is for your scalp, leaving your hair really healthy looking. And the spearmint extract is what actually gives you that stimulating fragrance. So maybe it was the spearmint that I was feeling, but you do get like a tingling sensation when you use the shampoo. And as you can see from here in the bottle, it's a very liquidy form. It's not like a thicker type paste and it goes on really easy and washed out really easy as well. After I wash out the shampoo, I then add the conditioner. This one has an even stronger scent than the shampoo. You do smell like the tea tree oils and probably that spearmint. Now, the main thing that I like to keep in mind when it comes to conditioner is how well it detangles. So what I did here, I put some in my palm and then I put it through each section of my hair. Now, usually what you wanna do with conditioner, you put it in your palm and then you just start going like this and then you just start moisturizing. But technically, doing all this is just creating more tangles and more frizz. So what us curly girls should be doing in the shower is go section by section and pulling the hair down. You're trying to get out the knots and make sure that each strand is getting some type of moisture. So once I did that, I got all my sections and I just kind of let it sit for a while. I let the conditioner have some time to do its work. And then after that, I grab the bottom of my hair, I grab my brush and I start getting the tangles at the end and I work my way up to get out all the tangles. Now this did have some pretty good slip. I think I'm gonna say that out of all the Shea Moisture lines that I have been trying, I think this is my favorite conditioner when it comes to slip and detangling. So that was very important for me because I don't really have like a favorite conditioner, but so far I think this one's winning. And now, the most important part for me is the styling products that we use outside the shower. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I'm a one product type of girl. So I wanna see how this product was going to work on its own. Now this is a also low porosity, protein free, leave-in detangler. Has the same spearmint extract, clary sage, all that good stuff. And it's made to condition and detangle moisture resistant curls and coils. Now, although this was able to detangle my hair, I think I just personally prefer detangling my hair in the shower while I have conditioner. If you have low porosity hair, that means that your hair is more likely to get a lot of product buildup. So this is very lightweight and won't make your hair feel too heavy. Now, let me give you a close up of my current curls. These are my third day curls and all I did today was add a little bit of this on top of some water and I let it dry and this is where we are. Here are my curls. They are very shiny, they look healthy and they are defined and I was very happy to see that. But if we zoom in to the top of my hair, you will see some slight frizz at the top. It's nothing crazy. You're probably thinking like that's a normal amount of frizz for a curly girl, but it's kind of driving me crazy. No, not really. I mean, it's there. And I think adding another styling product on top of this would fix that. 
Now I didn't even really notice the frizz on top until I watched my previous video talking about hair porosity. In that video, I also only used this product and that was my second day hair. And when I was editing the video, I noticed like the frizz in the outline and it was like, oh, frizz. But I mean, it wasn't anything too crazy. Now to be fair, this product actually doesn't claim to get rid of frizz. It says it's for detangling, it won't create product buildup, it makes your hair healthy and shiny, and that's what it is. It's healthy and shiny, so I think, to be fair, this should be like a step one to detangle, to add some extra moisture, and then you should use another type of styling product on top of it. Maybe like the Curl Enhancing Smoothie or the Curl and Style Milk, also by Shea Moisture. I was curious, so I actually asked you guys on Snapchat, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, Hello, we could have been friends by now. Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. I asked you guys in my story if you guys have tried this and I wanted to know your thoughts. And many of you said that you absolutely love this line, it does wonders for your hair, and you are able to use this all on its own and your hair looks great. For me and like some other people that responded, this is more of a first step type of product and then you add a second product to actually style. Let's talk about where to buy the products. You could buy these products. I think the safest place would be Target and or the Shea Moisture website. You might be able to find these at places like CVS, Walgreens, maybe Walmart. They're each $10.99, even the detangler. On the website, this one actually is $11.99, so it might be cheaper to get them in stores, don't deal with shipping, blah, blah, blah. But they're still a very reasonable price. If you don't have low porosity hair, then you're gonna wanna try the high porosity line. Those look like this, they're in blue bottles, and they actually give you more options in the high porosity line because you need that extra moisture if you got high porosity hair. So the high porosity line includes a shampoo, a conditioner, I believe a mask, some oils, a styling gel. I think there's at least five products in the high porosity Shea Moisture line, which also should be at your local Target or SheaMoisture.com. So I believe that is everything I have to say about the new Shea Moisture Low Porosity Protein Free Shampoo, Conditioner, and Detangler. And all together, getting all three is gonna cost you about $33. But you know what's better than $33? Free. I think it's about time that I do another giveaway. I'm gonna do a 90K giveaway. So as soon as I hit 90K, I'm going to announce that giveaway, but I need you to subscribe so I can get there a little bit quicker. I'm hoping to get to 100,000 by the end of this year, so please help me reach my goal and spread my channel to other curly, natural friends that you may have. If you wanna be the first to know about my giveaway, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee and my Snapchat, also Ms. Bianca Renee. Just, you know, follow me on all types of social media so we always can be connected. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I post new videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.